Yo, this Trenches News, man, and I'm back at y'all with another one, man. Before I get started, man, I'd like to say I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, man. Y'all keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep coming with these stories, man. I'm going to start back to Crash Out Serious, man, Um, soon. i just been a little bit under the weather. But enough of that, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button, man. Subscribe. Put that notification on. I'm going live later. Um, So y'all be looking out for that. Um, Today's story is on the Clout Lord. Um, Lil J, FBG Lil J, whatever you want to call it, man. The the Wolverine, the Chirac, the Diddy Bopper. The story on Lil J, man. Lil J, he come from the low end. Came from the low end. His whole family is from the low end. 39th, out west, all type of shit. They, they the McGraws, they big. They got like the biggest family in Chicago. They family is bigger than Ducks and them family and they last name. The McGraws. Like, each person in that family got, like, 17, 18 kids apiece. Like, Lil J got a big family. Um, Lil J, he used to be playing football when he was young, always fighting. Like, he ain't, he wasn't scared to fight or none of that. Lil J always been like that. He ain't never been no bitch. That's one thing I'm saying about him. Even when he was little, he was always one of the fighting stuff. Uh, he was never a rapper. It surprised me when he started rapping. Um, getting to that, too. Um, he was hanging with... Fifth Ward, 45th, Fifth Ward, um, you know, that's how he claimed BD and all that shit, because Fifth Ward, um, all his friends, like, he used to hang with, like, uh, Wynn from THF, uh, Crack, Gator, all the Fifth Ward he was hanging with uh, before he went to 63rd. Um, you know, the low end, as the low end, as the low end was, you know, they was tearing down the low end, rebuilding and all that. You know, everybody started going towards the 60s, out south, 63rd, all that, 55th, 63rd, 79th, you know, 90th, all that stuff. They was going out south, over east. So Lil J ended up on 62nd. He was hanging with one of, the, um, one of the little snakes over there who had a crib. Like, his family had a lot of money on college. His family had a lot of money, the little shorty who Lil J was hanging with. Um, Lil J jumped this gate, ended up jumping shorty gate, and then he was homeless. So he went... And, and, and stayed with Kells and them and started hanging with Duck and Tukerville. Um when Lil J first when Lil J first started uh, before he started rapping, man, the, it, it was called gate jumping. Like everybody in that hood, you know what I'm saying, motherfucker jump your gate. You know, I ain't talking about no fence either. They jump your gate. That mean they take your shit. So Lil J, he was doing all that already. All them was. So they, the, him and Duck get cool, Lil J hanging around. So everywhere Duck was able to go, Lil J was able to go. You know, Lil J was able to go to Sheena Crib. He was able to go to Boosie House until he started jumping gates with them too. But let's get into it when he started rapping. Now, Lil J, the hood accepting him and all that, Lil J over there. Now, Duck, Dutchie, Billionaire, um, Creed, all them rapping. They rapping. Lil J still ain't rapping. Lil J just on bullshit. He walking up to King Drive, trying to trying to excite a writer, trying to excite looking for the O and all that around the time. Nobody wasn't dead yet. This one, nobody wasn't dead. Well, Tuka, Tuka was dead, but nobody else wasn't dead. It wasn't really nobody's. It wasn't really nobody's yet like like that. Um, and Lil J, he used to be on stuff like that. Now, Duck them started rapping. Now, so now Lil J, he see that Doug Nem start um, rapping and stuff. Now, he start rapping. I remember this day clearly. Mello Nem Daddy, Cash Out Nem Daddy, told Lil J, like, hey, man, look, Duck the front runner, my kids the front runner, bro. You should try to, you know what I'm talking about? You could be with them, you know, hold the gun or something. You know, try to make them like he a flunky, like. You know, everybody can't rap. You know, you got your worker, you got your manager, you got your... He explained this to Lil J. Lil J walked off. Lil J walked off. Ain't never, ain't never fuck with them again after that day. When Lil J walked off, when he told Lil J uh, what he's supposed to be, Lil J came up, bro. I'm talking about came up. Lil J got to drop the song. He got on one song with Duck. And then after that, Lil J just took off on my mama. He took off on them. Now... Now, all the songs going back and forth. They going back and forth with them. They going back and forth. They had this, they had this, they had this, um, they had the clout, the clout, um, the clout boys, the clout boys. Lil J had made some clout lord clothes 
and all that shit. But he didn't make the clothes. He was just selling them. So people were sending in their money, sending in their money, sending in their money. And Lil J never sent none out. So he finessed everybody. So they got the inbox and duck like, man, your boy, he finessing us, bro. He took our money. We sent him $100 for an outfit. Lil J got over, bro. He got over. He, he robbed the whole internet for like 20 bucks, man. That's what him and Duck fell off at. They fell off big time, man. Because they got the inbox and Doug them, Manny them, all them. Lil J was about to take the Cloudboy label, bro. I had did the paperwork. So I had did the paperwork so they can hire Cloudboys, bro. If I wouldn't have did that motherfucking paperwork, because they slow ass can't do it. Them little Timmies. If I wouldn't have did that Illinois State Secretary, Illinois State paperwork for them, for the Cloudboys, bro, Lil J would have had it. Lil J would end up fooling with it. Like, like he he got on his own shit. Him and Butter riding around. So they really didn't care about the hood. He had a little Butter with him. So they was, like, Lil J ain't never come back to the hood after that. I'd say after about 2012, Lil J just stopped coming to the hood. He had his own hoods. He was with Brit Squad. He was with Out in the Hundreds. He was in all type of places. But he wasn't in the hood. But he a slide over g Dayski and them crew. You know, everybody meet up over there. So... Lil J got to doing even more shit, taking feature money. People spoke, people send money for him and Duck to jump on the feature. Lil J keep it and get Duck on the song, but not pay Duck. He was doing all that type of shit. Well, one day it was a block party on Rose, man. And Lil Odd Job and them came. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to tell the story. It's not like a movie, man. Odd Job and them come through. You know what I'm saying? Uh, swipe them down. 10, 11 shots. Lil J hit up. When Lil J got hit up, I'd say about two uh, a month and a half, man, a man came out dancing, man, making hits. Making hits, man. And Lil J got a catalog, man. Lil J got 10K. He got Oh So Arrogant. He got Hang With Me. He got all that shit. Lil J got hit. So people can't really say he ain't got no hits. If it wasn't for Lil J and Duck, I'm going to say Lil J and Duck, bro. I'm going to say Lil J and Duck. Billionaire too, but I'm going to really say Lil J and Duck, bro. They put them on the map, bro. They gave them the platform that they needed, bro. They gave them the platform because Lil J brought that energy. You know what I'm saying? Lil J was close to a lot of them, bro. He was close to a lot of them. Um, the shit with the shit with Ki with that was that was bogus, bro. I told him when he put that shit on the internet, I'm like, Lil J, bro, take that down, bro. He did that shit in G Dayski them crib, bro, on the internet. Put the Rim Twins and all that shit. He uploaded it from their crib. Motherfuckers telling him. Like, man, bro, don't upload that shit, bro. They shorties. But, you know, K.I. them, you know, Butter them, they chasing it. They they want to be famous. You know what I'm talking about? This shit come right back, though. You know what I'm talking about? This how shit come back. So, um, Lil J uh, be, uh, got hit up again. He got hit he ended up getting hit up again. One day, he on 95th going to do a feature. Lil J get hit up. They catch him in 95th. Wipe him down. Boom, 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 boom. Wipe him down. He up in there waiting on the feature money whole time. He the finesse the person who finna again, who doing the feature. A nigga that paid him just to shoot him on that thing. Lil J go to the hospital. Me and Mellow Daddy, bro. We searching around for hospitals. We searching around for the hospitals, bro. We searching around 95th. You know, 95th got two hospitals. They got Christ and Holy Cross. So we go to both of the hospitals. They saying that ain't no Lil J there. Lil J, Jeff, whatever. You know, he ain't there. So... We like, man, we know him in one of these hospitals. So one of the people was like, oh, y'all talking about that famous rapper. We like, yeah, 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 where he at? He said, oh, man, his name Abdul Rahim. We like, what the fuck? Lil J didn't change his name so nobody won't come, bro. When we came in the room and slid the curtain back, Lil J thought it was in here. He thought it was over with, bro. But yeah, Lil J, he is, he is a figure in that drill. And he put them boys on with Duck on their thing. But him and Duck got into it about a lot of shit, slime shit he was doing. And then the other incident, Duck had brought equipment with Money Strong, the cameraman, Money Strong. Lil J, they didn't know how much that they was getting paid for YouTube. Lil J, they, they, never, they never knew. Billionaire, Duck, or none of that. All them cameramen, all them millions of views that y'all see when they was getting it. Man, the cameramans was getting paid for that shit. They got to seeing the cameramans riding up in Range Rovers and Benz and shit. And that's when they knew that they was fucking getting beat out. Well, when Lil J found out that he got beat out and he ain't get paid for all that shit, also everything and shit, all the shit that they filmed, man, Lil J went over Money Strong crib, bro. Pulled water down his computer, tore up the whole studio, 
on everything, bro. And licked a couple of a, a couple of fives on everything in the crib. That was Duck Studio, though. Him and Duck fell out after that. It wasn't no more talking. They was whiffing at each other on the internet. It wasn't no more talking about that. Um, Lil J, 2015, on my birthday, May 7th. Him and Butter, they'll go to jail. Lil J told me he'll come back. It was my birthday. Duck them, all them was over boosting them crib. Everybody was over boosting them crib on my birthday, 2015. We was at Boosie crib. Boosie had brought me a cake. Shout out to Mama Boosie. Uh, Duck came with the weed. I had a Remy. All that good shit. Lil J told me he was coming back. He was finna come back to smoke with me. He was finna go out where he went to to go and get some weed to smoke with me on my birthday. Y'all can look it up and see when he went to jail. He went to jail on my birthday. These all facts. Lil J and them never came back, bro. Whole time, Lil J had the weed that he came back with. He was on some bullshit. Him and, they was on some bullshit. Bottom line. And that shit backfired. He ended up getting hit. They end up, the motherfucker tell him, passing the word, end up with Chop Suey in the thing. Well, I don't know Lil J end up with Chop Suey, but y'all seen who had the bocce. And, um, yeah, shit like that. They, they, that, it, it, it was for nothing, bro. It was for nothing. Lil J now went out there, tried to finesse dude. Dude probably short them about two grounds, bro, and they done caught a whole motherfucker 14 years case motherfuckers telling over nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's the real story. I don't know if Lil J, they told on each other whatever they want to say. Lil J got 14 years and he's still up in there. So I don't know about that. Now about these um, Alicia Keys allegations, man. When I was in jail, when I first went, when I first went and Lil J was in there. And when I first went back and Lil J was in there in 15, you know, Lil J was on the same deck as Rondo and them. He was on E-Day. All them was over there. I mean, C-Day, McAdoo, all them was over there in 15, bro. My homie Stutter, bro, from Newtown. On there, they had the whole building for the motherfucking county, bro. And they was about to roll Lil' J ass on my mama. I went to the barber shop. Scud to get on my shit and tell y'all this. I went to the barber shop. Because folks never was like, it's Lil' J BD. I'm like, yeah, he BD. See, Lil' J was all doing that BDK shit out on the streets. But he was trying to play the BD role in jail. You feel me? Like, he got in jail trying to play the BD role. He was on Division One. He was over there with all they ass, though. And ain't nobody do shit to him. And these facts, I opened up the door one day going to, going to motherfucking what's the name? It was on A-Will. Him, Rondo, and all them was on the deck dipping together. I promise you, this ain't no made up shit. Him, Rondo, and Bezu was on the same deck in Division 1. There's no made up shit, no cap. And I ain't see nobody. They was dipping together. So with that being said, a lot of that shit be fool. Now, the, the gay allegations came up when Lil J got out of Division 1 and went to PC. They were saying that he was over there with the facts and all that. I ain't seen it. I know all the ops said he did. The guards were saying he did. And a couple of members that's from the EBT, that's real members, bro, on that thing. So, you know, Lil J finna come home in a few months. Y'all be able to ask Lil J, you know what I'm talking about, what's going on about, about that shit. But, yeah, Lil J come from the low end. He, um, he got hit up. My favorite memory with Lil J, my last memory was Lil J. Was when Lil B was alive. It was me, Cree, Jesto, um, Lil J, and Lil B. We riding around all the blocks in the city, and we ready to crash. I ain't gonna lie, we was ready to crash out with, with anything that was moving. We ended up on Front Street at Kells them crib. This no bullshit. We on 62nd. We right outside the building where E Day them all them outside, bro. We PC they on the back of the building, bro. On that thing. We about, to, we about to slam them out. Hey, mama, jump up. Like, y'all going to jail if y'all slam out. We just left it alone, bro. These real facts, real stories. Because I want to see that anyway. Because, you know, from the time when he did that shit on King Jive to me. So I was trying to get get back. But, yeah, long live Lil B. That was the last time I was with Lil J. Now, me, him, Lil B, Creed. We was riding around the whole city, bro. We was in the F-150. This nigga was in the motherfucking his little um, Maximum or whatever the fuck car Lil J had. Little Silver car. On that thing, that's the last time that I um that I was with Lil J in the streets. The last time that I seen him was on my birthday in '15 when he had my fucker told me he was coming back and then come back. So, you know, that's the last memory that I got. But the last good memory that I had Lil B and Lil J was in 2013 before Lil B got killed, bro. Me, him, Creed, Lil J, we riding around Walcott, the whole no love. We riding around, ain't nobody pulling shit on that thing. 
So, yeah, that, that's my story about him. But Lil Jazz, the top of the Cloud Boys, the Fly Boy, he got more clout than all of them. As he come out, if y'all want to ask me, is Lil J going to be bigger than he going to be bigger on everything? Everybody gone in the drill, say. So, when Lil J get out, I guarantee he finna do a million views in no time on everything. So, it's up to y'all if y'all want to rock with him or not. But this story on Lil J, man. Y'all make sure y'all support him when he get off. Y'all gonna support him. If y'all not, then that's y'all prerogative, man. You know. But that story on Lil J, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment, man. I told y'all about when he got hit up. I told y'all about the videos, how he came up. I told y'all all um about him bringing over there with Brit Squad and, and JoJo. They loved him. Brit Squad them was over there loving him, bro. And, to, and then Lil J always getting into it about a female or somebody. That's why y'all little goofy, because y'all don't wait until he go to jail and then try to sneak this. But I'm out with this shit, man. I'll come at y'all with another part, man, on Lil J, man, when he get out, when I do an interview with him, man, when he come home. This is Trisha News, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment to my page, man. This story on Lil J, the Wolverine.